this is what's known as a flats boat. Wave to him. Wave to him, Gil. Known as the flats boats. The reason for that, you get into very real shallow water. And when you look around the Mosquito Lagoons, which encompasses Canaveral National Seashore, Merritt Island Wildlife uh, Refuge, we're looking at tons and tons and tons and tons of acres and acres of fishing waters. And when we look towards New Smyrna Beach, we can see some of the uh, condos on the horizon. But we also see the floats, the markers for the crab pots. And uh, for example, there's one just off of our uh, bow. And that's big business in this area. Also, it marks uh, deeper water. Right now, we're, we're anchored with what is known as a flat stick. Kind of a neat device in lieu of an anchor. You actually take this stick and jam it into the soft uh, bottom and then tie off at one of the cleats, boat cleats. And uh, it's unbelievable how these, uh, how tenacious these sticks can be. Now this one is uh, eight feet in length, uh, made out of uh, uh, graphite. Uh, and you can get some in fiberglass. Uh, they'll run you $100 or so. But it eliminates uh, hauling the dirty old anchor clogged with uh, seaweed and whatnot into your boat. Nifty device. And uh, Gail and I are on our Carolina skiff. It's a 16-footer. You got a 40 horsepower Mercury. And what we do is uh, we come out whenever the winds aren't too bad and uh, just find a, a drop-off. And, you know, if you can tell the, the color tone difference here, but you got a, a sandbar right in this area. And the uh, redfish and trout and other species, uh, fish species, will migrate along this edge looking for food. And the idea is to sneak into the area and... Set your flat stick and just kind of let the everything mellow out and start fishing. Now in this case, uh, Princess Gale is in the, the bow of the boat here and, <laughs> and she's using some stinky old mullet. In other words, she's bait fishing using a bobber. The net bobber is uh, floating from our right to left. Then hopefully they'll float by with some of these migrating redfish or trout. I have my fly rod and I'm going to do some fly fishing against this bar and hopefully get some footage because uh, fly fishing in the lagoons, uh, number one, you need to uh, have wind that's cooperative otherwise even with a seven and eight weight rod, you can't play havoc trying to uh, get that fly out over the fish. And interesting, we've seen about six or so dolphins so far this morning. Now here's another flat boat that just came out of, it's heading into the East Channel, and that East Channel will take you down to, towards the Canaveral, the launch pad. And, uh, just recently, what was it, Gil? Last night before last? Last night, the launch. Yeah, last night, a uh, rocket was launched, and that's the second uh, launching we've uh, witnessed uh, from our beach house since we've been here. And over here is the West Channel, and this will take you to the intra coastal waterways and further south. Now, I attended. 
a mid-coast fly fishers uh, members meeting. There comes another flats boat. These flats boats can uh, move from point A to point B in a hurry. You notice this particular boat has a uh, casting, uh, well actually a polling platform.